exercise is probably the most evidence-based way to actually create new brain cells, neurogenesis. What I found most interesting, um, just because I think most people sort of understand the basic value of exercise, is that they often say what is good for the heart is good for the brain. But when it comes to movement, there are some, there are some differences. Um, brisk walking, for example, was found to be the best way to release this, this compound known as BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. That's the miracle grow stuff for the brain. Not my language. A very prominent neuroscientist described it that way to me. I'm like, what does this BDNF do? It's miracle grow for the brain. Wow, I want that. How do I get it? You can't inject it. You can't swallow it. You can't eat it. Best way to get it? Brisk walking. Not even running. Not even running, and here's why. It's not that you're not making BDNF when you run. The problem, and there's plenty of literature now, that the problem is that you also generate a lot of cortisol which is a stress hormone, and it tends to block the effects of BDNF. So you get both, but they counterbalance each other. So running is great in so many ways, cardiovascular health and all these things, but if you want to find the best activity for the brain, it's probably a brisk walk.